Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Stone Cottage Studios. Um, we're here with another artist session. Joining me today is Emma Lise. Um, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. This place is so cool. I'm very excited to be here. Yeah, I'm so excited to listen to your music here. Oh, thank you. Um, what are some of your favorite inspirations and what's inspired you in your music? Yeah, I love... Um, I, I have to thank my parents for all my music taste because I think I have a pretty cool music taste. <laughs> um, I I absolutely love Brandy Carlisle, Dave Matthews, mm. um, Leon Bridges, Tracy Chapman, Elton John, um, and they. I I love to listen to how they write and how their lyrics, how they connect their lyrics and how um, they connect it with a melody. And I like to sometimes I'll take a song and then I'll take another song and then I'll take like part of my song and I'll just mash it all together and then it'll be like a song is born oh my gosh that's so amazing (laughs) yeah yeah I feel like just even in the sound checks that we're doing I could hear those inspirations oh well thank you beautiful yeah what first started you on your musical journey and path being here yeah I was four and I really wanted a guitar for my birthday so my grandma got me one and I have been playing ever since I I got a guitar teacher when I was a year later when I was five and he, I have to thank him for all of my performing live like how I love performing live because I just fell in love with performing live he brought me to his gigs and I p- played p- performed during his breaks when you were five years old when I was six <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's I've been in love with it ever since and I um got a busker's permit when I was seven. I did the little interview and everything. I got my picture taken and then I've been busking whenever I don't have a show. I love to make my own by busking. Um, That's so amazing. That's so, have you ever felt nervous? Like as like a six year, I don't know, you know, (laughs) I've recently just started performing music as well. I found that it's so, it's so human and it's so vulnerable, Mm -hmm. you know, but um, yeah. It's so personal to yourself. It really yeah. is. Yeah, especially with writing your own songs. Yeah, I have never really had nerves or been nervous. Wow. I just love it. I truly love it. And so <laughs> whenever I go play a show, like I a couple months back, I um, was on ESPN for singing the national anthem. Oh, my gosh. And, Congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, the head of... Um, MLB was talking with me and he's like you're going to be in front of millions of people and I was like yes yes. Yes. (laughs) I think he was trying to get me nervous I'm like I'm not getting nervous oh I love that wow (laughs) yeah I love that it's so cool I feel like that's what we should all aspire to love something so much that it can just be so genuine to ourselves to share it with the world yeah yeah, it's no, so I truly love it. So Beautiful. So you've been working on an album recently. It's going to be your I debut have. album? My debut album, yeah. Woo-hoo. I know. I, I'm super excited on it. I just spent my whole spring break, 10 days, 10 hours each day, no days off. And oh I've gosh. just been pretty much living in the studio. Yeah. We had, I ca- we called it my room, and I pretty much just lived in it. <laughs> <laughs> All I needed was a little bed. <laughs> so this was your spring break off of school that you yes, were recording. Yes, yeah. Okay. Um, it was a great, it was perfect timing because I needed that time. I'm not even, I'm not done yet and I'm yeah. excited to get back in the studio. Um, we have all of the musicians recorded and um, just need to get some parts finalized on my side. So That's so exciting. Who I was it? Excited. It was Brad Corgan that you were working with. On yeah, that, right? that was my first EP. That's okay. Only hard copy. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Um, only yeah. hard copy. Like you didn't release it anywhere. No, it's oh, just hard so copy. Cool. I was thirteen so cool. or twelve or thirteen. So we both decided that it'd be better if we just did hard copy. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that that was my first EP. He produced it, and he was. Um, it was amazing working with him. So Such an cool. honor. Um, I've known him for a while, and um, yeah, it was amazing to see like what input he had on my songs Mm. and to see that come to life and he was on he played percussion the cajon um did some harmonies on some has a little whistle in one of them (laughs) yeah he's an amazing amazing artist we've had him into the studio as well before yeah yeah that's such a small world yeah 
That's so cool. That's so cool. What first introduced you to Brad Corgan and how did you how did you meet him? Yeah, I was actually busking oh, yeah? <laughs> outside of a Rockies game. And a friend of a friend, we had dinner one time and um yeah, we've just been close friends. And Beautiful. Yeah, love jamming out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you remember, but it was actually like two years ago. It was right when my father and I were starting Stone Cottage Studios and I was down on Pearl Street and I saw you busking and I came up and spoke to you just very briefly. Oh it was, and maybe gosh. you don't remember, but it was just so interesting and it's so cool to see how, I don't know, things can unfold and time yeah. can unfold and now you're here. Oh, I'm well, just thank so grateful. you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll always busk though. I was going to busk today. I might busk <laughs> after this. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Love that. Love yeah. that. Maybe I should try that one of these days. Oh yeah, definitely. Just go for it. Do you have like a PA system that you bring down with you? Or? I do. Yeah. They will kick me out sometimes. So it's, and, and I'll play Folsom Prison. When, whenever the cops come, I'll play Folsom Prison. Ah! And I think it's hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. They don't think it's hilarious though. They are straight faced the whole time. But oh, that's <laughs> I'm like, can I just do one more? That's so <laughs> funny. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, do you have a name for the album that you're going to be putting out that people can look yeah, for? Yeah, it'll be self titled. So Emily's. Emily's. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Very excited, very excited. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> trying to think of other questions that I have for you. Um, do you play any other instruments besides guitar? I play ukulele. I actually got started because I could not fit my arms around an actual guitar. So I as a started... Four -year -old. <laughs> as, as a, a four-year-old. <laughs> yeah. So I started on a gutulele, which is a guitar ukulele hybrid, and it's like the guitar on the fifth fret pretty much mm. and it's it i have it hanging up it's signed i have a bunch of signatures on it <laughs> um and so i guess that's another instrument it's pretty much guitar though yeah. so that's kind of cheating i also play ukulele and i play a little bit of trumpet but <laughs> i have the horns on my i have trumpet sax and trombone on my album mm. and i just love the sound of them all together it's I've always loved the the horn sound. Yeah, it's all so of my full. Inspiration. I feel like it brings so much energy. Yes, yeah. And all of my inspiration, Dave Matthews, Nathaniel Rateliff, like just makes you want to dance. Yeah. And that's what I want my music to have people listen to and then just dance. So. Yeah, that's so amazing. <laughs> yeah, oh so I do play trumpet, but I was telling my mom, I was like, I never get nervous playing guitar or singing or anything, but if I had to play the trumpet, I <laughs> <laughs> that that would not go well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So starting at four years old, was music in your family? Did it get introduced to you? Yeah, well, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, my Both of my parents are in education, so my mom is a fourth grade teacher, and my dad is a principal... Um, he was actually my assistant principal before he became principal. Oh. So in middle school, he was my principal. So That's so interesting. I know. I was a very good kid in middle school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very good kid. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, well, I'm so excited to listen to some of your music today, and I hope everyone who's joining in um, is excited to listen today as well. Um, how many songs do you think you're going to be playing for us? Um, I'll feel it out. I have a bunch of songs down here, but... <laughs> whenever I'm playing shows I just don't go by the set list like it just doesn't because I'll be, I'll be playing and I'll be thinking of a song because it's just what I've always been doing like I've always been paying attention to the audience and seeing what the vibe of the crowd is and so mm. I probably like I have this whole set list here but Maybe I probably like change. won't go by it yeah, yeah. yeah yeah just to have the songs written down and to look at is nice for sure just to yeah. keep a little mental track right yes awesome well so. we're all so excited Emily's. thank you so much for being here yeah thank you for having me yes um so we'll get to the music now um but for everyone watching um please help support these amazing local artists um through stone cottage studios by liking and subscribing and following us um through all the social platforms um but yeah, we'll get to it. Thank you. Emily. Yeah, thank you. Sure. We love you. Oh, I love you guys. <laughs> All right, I'm so ready. This is a, a song called Nowhere to Be Found. Just the 
just pass you by Trust me, I learned my lesson I waited for the stars to align Trying to find the sun To get out the way to be found Someday you'll figure it out you bother picking up the phone if you want to talk to me i can hear the ringing i want you won't you won't be here again trying to find the sign to get out Retrograde attempting to escape Jaywalking till I find my pet Trying not to look back Back on this shameful game Always ahead Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys. Um, this next one I'm gonna do is a a song off of my first EP, um, and um, on my mom's side, um, I have a family full of farmers, and I wrote this one just to. Um, bring attention to the struggles, all the struggles that farmers have being swallowed up by uh, big, com big companies. And so I think that inspired this one. It's called Shattered. Paycheck, it's the way he had to live. Oh, Lord, oh, mercy, he was in misery, broken down and fallen to his knees. He was shattered like glass on the kitchen floor. Shattered, looking for something more. He was shattered Livestock was getting thin No food, no water Just some bones, some bones and skin They had a winner till he had a win Sticking together till the end Shining light and bringing strength to 
Thank you. Um, yeah, that was one off my little EP that I came out with when I was about 13, so. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this is a, a song that I wrote because I love, uh, absolutely love the show Queen's Gambit. And so <laughs> I wrote a song about it. <laughs> this is uh, one called Fade Away. <laughs> Fires burning in my head, driving me crazy. How far do they have to spread? I've been wondering how much I gotta bleed. And there's not much more I can take. I'm gonna get away. If I had a dollar in my wallet every time you made a promise for an invitation, never. absolutely love skiing and I was so sad I couldn't ski this year <laughs> but um <laughs> my like my whenever I don't have a show I either go busking or skiing and um in the winter of course but <laughs> um one time we we go to Park City a lot and I think this there was this run in Park City and it was called Mystic Pines and I'm just I'll just be in random places and I'll see like I'll have some cool inspiration for a line and I saw that 
ski run and I was like, oh my gosh, that's a great song. <laughs> or it would be, so. Um, that's the title of this one, it's called Mystic Pines. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I actually got to play that one at the Bluebird a couple years back, the Bluebird Cafe. Maybe we were like 14? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some, yeah, there's, yeah, maybe 14, yeah. It was, <laughs> we were in town and we were actually there to see Brandy Carlisle at the Ryman, which was my Christmas birthday <laughs> present for like three years it's not but that's what it is in my mind um because it's such, so amazing for me to see but uh, uh my parents call it professional development when I get to see it <laughs> my biggest <laughs> Brandy Carlisle I mean there's so many but I absolutely love Brandy Carlisle oh I got to meet her and oh my goodness I got to meet her I'm good friends with their vocal coach um, who's also Dave Matthews' vocal coach, um, so many people, like, it's incredible, his name's Rob Stevenson, and, um, yeah, he, <laughs> she was playing at the Gorge, and he brought me backstage, and he, she was performing a song, because I was, I had the VIP tickets, I hold the whole, I had the whole package, and I was watching from the side stage, and he brought me across the stage while she was performing her song, and I was like, I'm not allowed to do this, this is not okay, <laughs> Um, I was freaking out, and I looked over at my dad, and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so it was like her last song, and it was on her, on her birthday, and it was like the biggest night of her career so far, and she absolutely killed it, and I got to meet her right after she, right after she just played The Gorge, and I was totally crying, like, yeah, no, it was, 
Oh yeah, no. Uh, she she was the nicest down to earth person, and she gave me some great advice. And it was she talked to me for like ten minutes. It was absolutely insane. I was starstruck the whole time. I want to meet her again. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was my Brandy Carlisle story. I have a picture favorited in my phone of me and her. <laughs> how old is she? she? How old is she? Yeah. Oh, I I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was pretty magical. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. So that was um, Brandy Carlisle at the Gorge. <laughs> um, this next one is, I always talk about busking. Um, I wrote this one. This is the title track of my EP um, that I recorded with Brad Corgan. Uh, he was the producer, and this one's called On My Way, and I wrote it. The first line of this song is 10th and Pearl's where I took my turn. It's my favorite spot to busk on Pearl Street. So, <laughs> um, yeah, this one's called On My Way. <clears throat> over to my lovely Taylor over here. Um, this is my rock bridge. <laughs> Do you guys want to know the name of my guitar? This one's, this one's called Dandy because um, rock bridge, <laughs> the company they, uh, Brandy Carlisle and Dave Matthews both play rock bridge. And so I combined their name. And so Dandy, there it is. <laughs> um, my favorite guitar ever. Dandy Carlisle. 
Dandy Matthews. <laughs> and I think it's a cute little name. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the guitar that I play whenever I have a drastic tuning. Cause I'll I'll play that one in drop D, but when I have a drastic change in tuning, I'll go to this one cause I don't want to break any strings. <laughs> My mom knows about that. My mom is, if I break a string tonight, you'll see. I'll try not to, though. <laughs> but you'll see, my mom, she is like, it's like you're at, um, when they, like, change your wheels at a race car. Like, it, like in, like, like, Lightning McQueen. And you, like, change your, and they change the wheels. That's, like, my mom. When she, like, I'll play a song, and she'll, like, be zooming around, like, trying to get the string on. And it's great. She does it so quickly, too. It's insane. Um, anyways, <laughs> this is a, a song called Lately. Yeah. Lately I've been wondering why are slipping away or maybe it's just the time I learned to appreciate the good things I find every day paintings in the sky stuck in the past and I Every now and then Talking about How you kept me waiting And all I wanted was A little explanation <laughs> Stuck in the past And I can't find my new ones. <laughs> Peyton really likes that one. <laughs> I do. Yes. Um, yeah. A lot of these will be, I'm excited to say, on my, on my new album, so I'm really excited about that. We are too. Yeah. yeah amazing. Thank you. Can the river one again? The river one? <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll see. Let me, I'm gonna do another one. 
that I, it's almost brand new. But I can't say that you guys are the first audience to hear it because that'd be lying. <laughs> Even though it's... I, I sh could say that, but it's not the truth, so I'm not going to. <laughs> um, this is one that I wrote. I wanted to write a jazzy song, and so I wrote a jazzy song. <laughs> this one's a... Uh, this is one that I wrote just about um, bringing light to helping those in need and um, knowing that just a couple blocks away there's something completely different and just being grateful for all that you have and whenever you I just helping those in need and it's really important in times like these and especially with COVID and all the unemployment that's been happening and just getting together and coming together so uh I wrote a song it's called Blocks Away um and yeah. Surprising me Sitting in this warm Happy place It's a different story A couple blocks away Some are wishing for a sample Of this space Someone throws their hands To surrender Gotta get out of the roller coaster. appreciate it <laughs> yeah thank you thank you so much <laughs> um this next one is a song i wrote um <clears throat> i was um to bring back covid i was supposed to be or not we don't want to bring it back but you know what i mean <laughs> i just talked about it before but um <laughs> I was supposed to be opening for um, the band Dispatch. It was um, gonna be 
an 18 city tour and it was going to be all across the country and it was I was so excited I got to miss or I didn't get to but I was going to miss six weeks of school <laughs> and I was really excited about that but um it didn't end up happening because of COVID but um I wrote a song about it <laughs> um I know yeah that's what I say that's what I say um so yeah, this is a song I wrote called Empty Handed. There's my mom taking out her phone. She loves this song. She's totally recording. Oh my and gosh. It didn't make the album. <laughs> she was so mad. I, it was like the one that she wanted and it didn't make it. But there you go. <laughs> Mom's approval. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this one's called Empty Handed. was her mind when all went awry seeking direction as she looked up at the sky be careful see my I have a note section in my phone and I'll just sometimes I'll, I'll wake up from like a dream and I'll write down like so I don't forget I'll write, write down in my notes app like some lines of what I was dreaming about it's crazy and sometimes I'll oh my gosh my my voice memo section is not some of the things you do not want to hear because sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'll be like and then I'll like come back to it and I'll be like what is this <laughs> but uh <laughs> yeah, oh, any time of day. Yeah. My little brothers say pretty cool things. Oh, I'll do that one. Um, <laughs> I, this one's not even on the set list, but um, I was, uh, I was, pl I was, uh, I don't know, I was playing with my little brother, and he was, or he was saying, he's, my brother say pretty cool things, and he was saying, hey, I'm, I'm spinning a penny around in my head, and I was like, what? That's so cool! <laughs> So I, uh, <laughs> I wrote a song, and it's, that's the first line of the song. Um, this one's called Time is a Thief. Yeah. All right. Spinning this penny around upside down. Guessing which side it will land on Reflecting on what has been stolen 
Time keeps on passing me by Time keeps on moving along Is today the day They don't want to remember From time to time Or years from now You have to be in the moment To keep that special feeling time <laughs> two more okay I can I can keep on playing all night don't you worry <laughs> oh it's so hard to pick two I wrote so many songs down okay okay this one I wrote for uh, an English project um, and uh, it was on transcendentalism which is pretty much a fancy word for saying like you're connecting with nature and finding your true like what you're meant to be and I, I thought it was a pretty cool project and um, and I got to write a song for it so I was super excited about that um, so yeah this is a song I call I wrote called day in day out
Oh, thank you. Ready to play that song? Yeah. Blows me away. Thank you so much. I love writing fun guitar things <laughs> so I can show off. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I think I have time for one more. Um, oh, I can't forget to tune back to normal. <laughs> um, this one I just got back from... Um, from New York City a week or two ago, and I got the absolute honor of performing this one at the Apollo, Apollo Theater in Harlem, New York. Um, and they've just been, I've played there since I was 10, and they've always just been so kind to me. And uh, this is a song I wrote, it's called See You Again. I appreciate you guys for coming out, this has been fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is a song I wrote called See You Again. Time's been playing a game on us. It's time to roll the dice. Time to roll we gotta decide to open our eyes oh we gotta open our eyes real wide and we'll dance and be on cloud night Some
Oh, I'll do another one. <laughs> I can do another one. Okay. I'm totally like sweating in here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Maybe in the camera you can like edit out. Make me look like all matte. <laughs> Um, let's see. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'll do, um, when I wrote, uh, <clears throat> this is when I wrote for a history project. Um, in eighth grade. <laughs> um, I wrote this one, uh, to honor Aretha Franklin and the, 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 um, the subject was breaking barriers, so I did it, um, I thought, who better to do than Aretha Franklin, because she broke so many barriers for the women's and civil rights movements. Um, and she's just been an aunt, a, a complete idol to me, so I, uh, I wrote a song for her to honor her and all that she's done. This one's called Times Are Changing. Thank you. Yeah.